What's the best way to light up your bike at night? A battery powered light? Or a dynamo? here which means the days are getting shorter which means I find myself riding in the dark a lot more than I did in the peak of summertime and even if you aren't in these northern latitudes where the days get really short if you use your bike for urban transportation and urban cycling you are going to find yourself riding in the dark at night which means you need to stay lit up yes you need lights on your bike I'm usually pretty laissez-faire with gear on your bike but I'm gonna say right here don't rely on reflectors to keep you lit up. Get some lights. You don't want to have to rely on something that requires somebody else to shine lights on you to be seen. So here in North America, where cycling is considered a sport more than a viable transportation mode, most lights are a aftermarket product. You buy it after you get your bike and you attach it to your bike. Kind of like a basket or a rack or maybe those chrome testicles that uh, people dangle from the back of their pickup trucks. But in some saner countries where cycling is seen as a viable transportation option, a lot of bikes come like this one with lights built in. These are not powered by batteries. You don't have to plug them in. They're powered by the power of your own pedaling. Powered by the power. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what gives them their power, usually through a device called a dynamo. And they're very different ways of approaching lights. So today I'm examining both of them to try to figure out what's better, the aftermarket battery-powered lights or a built-in hub dynamo. Okay, let's start with the aftermarket battery-powered lights. Now, there are a million varieties of bike lights uh, and you can get spend as much money as you'd like to or as little as you'd like to. I've got three examples here of lights that I regularly use. Uh, the first type is these uh, sort of cheap and accessible elastic lights. This one's by Kryptonite. You just wrap it around your handlebar, bam push the button and you're good to go. I usually keep a couple of these around in my bag in case I need them in an emergency or even if I'm with a friend and they don't have lights, I can hand them over. Um, there are other varieties. This one's by BioLite. Uh, this is quite a good one. You uh, uh, turn, power it up, turn the light on, uh, it attaches to this clip and you're good to go. I've got ones for the front and red ones for the back. And I've also got this barrel laser light. This is, this is a good one. I actually made a video about this one a couple of years ago, but I still use it. It's a really nice bright uh, light. It's also got a laser uh, projected bike symbol onto the pavement in front of you. It's kind of a DIY bike lane, a little bit of a gimmick, but it's pretty cool. So there's all kinds of lights out there, but they all work on the same principles. You power them up, you put them on your bike and you're good to go. That, however, is not the only way to power a light. The other way is using a dynamo. And no, I'm not talking about the villain in the 1987 Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, The Running Man. We Dynamo is a device that generates power through its motion. Uh, over the years, they've changed a bit on bikes, but the principles have been around for decades and decades. In the old days, there used to be a little device that would rub against your wheel, and when your wheel turned, it would make, create some motion in the device. A wire would run up to your light, and it would go. Um, I've seen other ones that have little magnets, and every time they hit the other magnet, that generates just enough power to have a blinking light. Those ones aren't as good because the light is pretty dim. But most modern dynamos these days are built into the hub. They're called hub dynamo, dynamos. I'm not sure they're still dynamos, but some electrical engineer out there will probably correct me. But most people call them hub dynamos. And the way it works is there's magnets and wires and devices inside the hub of the wheel. And when the wheel turns, it generates power that's carried up by a wire into your light. So it's pretty straightforward. The great thing these days is that LEDs require such little power that you get a lot of light without having much impact on your riding. I've, in fact, I, in my research, I heard it compared to like the extra power you need in your pedaling to power this is almost equivalent to having a dirty chain. So really, you don't notice it much at all. And one nice thing about modern lights on a good bike, and this is my priority Continuum Onyx, these lights have a little capacitor built in, which capacitor is kind of like a little battery so that after you're riding for a while, when you come to a stop at a stop sign or a red light, it holds enough power just for a couple of minutes, just enough basically to get you through waiting there at the light. Pretty cool, right? And yes, there's on this bike also one at the back built into the fender so you can be seen from behind as well. 
So those are the two types of bike lights, the aftermarket battery powered ones and the hub dynamos. But which one's better? For that, we're going to do the same thing your mother told you to do when you were trying to choose a prom date. We're going to make a pro and con list. For every pro, I'm gonna put a ball in the basket. For every con, I'm going to take a ball out. Whichever one has the most balls at the end wins. All right, let's start with the aftermarket battery powered lights. Pro number one, they light up your bike. That's their job, they do a good job at that. Number two is there's a lot of variety. You can find all kinds of different kinds of bites. You could probably find one to suit your taste, no matter how picky you are. Number three is they're flexible. You can put them in all sorts of locations on your bike, however you like. Another pro is that they are easy to add and remove. You saw some of those, they, come, they go on and off in a snap. That's about all the pros I can think of now, the cons take this one out, you have to buy them. Like they don't come with your bike. So that's a little extra headache. Con number two is you have to remember to bring them with you. I can't remember how many times I've left my house and forgotten my lights at home because they're not always on my bike. So I'll take that away. Another con is you have to charge them. You have to take them off your bike, take them inside, plug them in or plug them in somewhere. So they're kind of a pain that way too. And number four is that they can run out of power on you at inconvenient times. If you're not on top of it, you can absolutely run out of batteries whenever you least expect it. There you go, there are no balls in the basket on the aftermarket bikes, uh, lights. Let's do hub dynamos. Okay, the first pro, just like the other ones, is they light up your bike. They do the job they're supposed to do. That's an easy one. Another pro is you don't have to take them off to charge them. They uh, always stay on your bike. You don't have to think about it. Number three is they never die on you because there's no battery to run out, so they're not gonna die when you least expect it. Uh, this is a big one for me because I'm forgetful is you don't have to remember to bring them with you. That's a pro, that's great. They're always on your bike. And this one's a bit intangible, but there is something cool about your own muscle power generating electricity. I don't know what it is, but I like it. So I'm giving that a, that a pro. Now for the cons, you have to move your legs to power them. It's a minuscule amount of extra power required, but it's still some extra power. So that is definitely a con. Uh, con number two is they're difficult to remove. They're pretty permanent. Uh, so if you want to take them off, you're kind of out of luck. There's also a bunch of wiring that you'd have to deal with. They're kind of a headache. They're kind of in there, all in or nothing. So that's a con. That's about it. I can't think of any other cons. And look, there's still three balls in the basket. So I think we have a winner here. That is the Hub Dynamo. So there we go, a clear winner in the uh, competition between Hub Dynamo lights and aftermarket battery powered lights. And I gotta say, before I had a bike with Hub Dynamos, I probably would have rolled my eyes at this competition. I mean, using battery powered lights on your bike is not that big of a deal. Having to charge them up, it's not that big of a deal. We charge everything in our lives these days. But since I've got a bike like this that has them in, I've been surprised how much I really like it. And for me, the most important part of that is that I never have to think about it. Lights are just always there. And I really think one of the things that is crucial to making the bike a bigger part of your life is to make sure it's easy and convenient to get on your bike at any time and just go. And if anything holds you back, I do find that it's just so much easier to not ride. And having lights on there that are always ready to go, that are always gonna light up, that I don't have to think about, is just one little thing that does make it that much easier to ride my bike. So it's not the end of the world if you have aftermarket lights on your bike, but if you get a chance, I definitely recommend trying a bike with built-in lights sometime. You might just like it, and it might just make your bike life that much easier. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching. See you next time.